Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Painted Polish Liberty Bell Maniology MXM109 and the Air Cushion Magic Powder Pen. I'll also be using She Modern Metallic Gold Sticky Stampin' Polish. I do have my Betty Cora Short Almond Nail Tips out today. And here is a Painted Polish Liberty Bell. I love these curlies with those like metallic flecks in it. Uh, so cool. Right up my alley. Alright, so we're going to get our first coat of this on. I love the brush. Love the formula. Considering what all's in this, it's very easy to work with. Going to go in with our second coat here. And I promise I am working on getting healthy nails so that I can play on my natural nails instead of all these nail tips. I appreciate you guys sticking with me and, you know, bearing with it all. All right. We're going to top this with the Eliana's Collection Quick Dry Top Coat. Like I said, since I can't find it out there anywhere, I'm just trying to use it up. Use your favorite Quick Dry Top Coat. I am going to go over these with the Pure Ice Frost Finish. It's like a matte finish. Um, I don't know if you can find this. This has been in my collection forever. Um, but it's going to mattify these so that I can play with Maniology MXM109. Kind of like a steampunk plate. Got to get the blue film off of it. Going to wipe it down with some acetone. Yep. And then some alcohol. I'll be using this metallic gold from She Modern. It's their sticky stamp and polish. And the Air Cushion Magic Powder Pen. It's miscellaneous one, two, three. And I've got my force resistant stamper from She Modern out today. So we're just going to pull some of these images and place them on the nails and then go in with that Cushion Magic Powder Pen. I just thought this would be really fun something a little different and I really did want to play with that pen you guys know when you get something new you want to play with it so I'm cleaning my stamper off on a lint roller and I'm just going to carry on I'll clean the plate up when I'm done or if I make a mess and I have to clean it up then we'll take care of that as it comes but I'm all about the playing today before I forget I do have discount codes um, and links down below for She Modern and also maniology. Um, if you if you you know are shopping and you need a discount code, I do have some down there for you if you'd like to use them. And I'm just having a blast with this today, and I love the little clocks and the gears. It's just so much fun, so much fun. I do use a little piece of tape to remove the excess that I don't want to accidentally get on the nail while I'm doing my stamping. And since I'm using the She Modern Sticky Stampin' Polish, I don't have to be in a hurry. Not for my stamping, not for doing the powder part, any of it. I'm going through and I'm putting all the stamps on all of the nails at one time. And then I'm going to go back in with the um, Air Cushion Magic Powder Pen. Um, and it, you know, and I, I didn't have any problems. It didn't dry too fast. I do love the sticky stamping polishes for that reason. I'm even going to take the time to clean up my stamping plate real quick with some acetone. Get my little mess cleaned up. All right, not much underneath there. And get my little scrapey card cleaned. You do want to clean the edge of your scraper cards occasionally. All right, tap, tap, tap down into the to the mix, and I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap in, and when I need more or feel like I need more, I'm gonna dip back into the container. I think all of the powder stuff is like stored in the. I'm gonna move it over here. It's got like a little spring in it. You kind of tap, 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 and it applies more of the powder on the end of the brush. And I'm really excited about this. And I did kind of stamp with a similar color so that if there was a spot or two here or there that didn't get as covered, 
it wouldn't be as noticeable. But you can do it any way you want. They, she Modern's got a clear one that you could use. And, you know, all the colors. You could use any of the colors. All right, so I'm going to hold them up here so you can see the difference between the golds. A little bit of a difference. Nothing major. Nothing crazy. But I really do like this. I hope they come out with this um, in other colors. You know, like other, you know. I would love to see, you know, a silver one and some other metallics like maybe blue, purple, red, green. You know, all the colors. Not too much to ask for, is it? <laughs> all right. Tap, tap, tap. All right. I let these sit for a while, probably about 30 minutes, and then I'm going in with my little fluffy brush, and I'm dusting off the excess, and then I'm very carefully going over them with my rougher brush. Not Nothing crazy. I don't want to scrape it off. And now I'm going to use the Maniology's Aqua Topper to brush over these to seal that chrome powder and stamping in before I do my final top coat. Because this is a water-based aqua topper, and it will wash off if you don't put a regular top coat like Eliana's Collection Quick Dry Top Coat, Sesh Feet, Posh, whatever you use. You, you're going to want to finish off with something like that. And there we have it. I'll be using these little glue tabs to apply them to my nails. Got me another little funky ring going on today. My teamy rings. And here is swatch photo number one. And number two. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.